appreciate your reading. I hope that this message finds you while you're in good health and good wealth. I hope that you're doing something that you love today, tonight, this afternoon, whenever this message finds you, simply because you deserve to. <clears throat> Thank you for all the likes, comments, and subscribes and donations to my channel. They really mean a lot to me, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you. <laughs> Interesting. It's like you're tired of being stuck in this some environment Aries you you're no longer putting up the fight you're no longer trying to convince yourself to stay you're no longer trying to convince yourself to be this old version of yourself where things just were not working out for you and they were not making you happy you're letting whatever changes need to be made happen <clears throat> yeah because something in your past as much as at one point in time, it made sense to like exchange energy with it. It just did not make sense anymore. This could have been a job. This could have been a person. This could have been just an environment in general that it's like it was becoming more draining for you to be a part of it than it was rewarding. Like there was no synergy. There was no equal, equal balance, no equal give and take of energies. We have the nine of wands in reverse and the six of pentacles in reverse to start your reading off. And I feel like you got fed up with it because the next card we have out is death. So for a lot of Aries out there, and my ears are ringing right now, for a lot of Aries out there, the world in reverse. Yeah, death, what changed was this, there was a sense of incompleteness in your life for a long time. Like whether it was you internally just feeling incomplete or like something in your life was incomplete, something was not necessarily fitting for you or working for you and that had to change you could you couldn't keep giving energy to it um and although it may it potentially could have been something you were a part of for a long time as well aries because we have the hermit in reverse and the hierophant in reverse out <clears throat> and this tells me that it's like you're kind of just changing up the whole way that you were doing things this almost looks like somebody that's doing like a 180 or like just like a complete reality shift to like you're kind of either moving somewhere or you're changing your a part of your identity or a piece of yourself like i don't know dyeing your hair or something like and just not that that's like changing your identity but like it's like you just feel like there's a whole new opportunity to be a new version of yourself to be a different version of yourself approaching after you make this change whatever it is in your life and i do see you making that change because in the past you were so fed up with things going a certain way or the outcome always being a certain way and it wasn't getting you anywhere. Look, in the past, magician in reverse, it's like you knew that there was untapped potential that was just sitting at your fingertips. You knew that the reality you were living didn't have to be the reality that you were living, but you were living it because you were continuing to exchange energy with this person, place or thing that was really just taking advantage of the energy you were giving to it you got fed up the cycle something had to be done about it six of cups in reverse you had to leave the past in the past <clears throat> and because you did that we had the star on the bottom because you did that a wish fulfillment was able to find you wow but yeah it's like it was really a blessing in disguise or a blessing that was always sitting there for you to take, but you were just not taking it because of all the time and energy you spent on the past or giving to the past. It didn't make sense for you to give it up or release yourself of it at the time, but eventually you got fed up to a point to where you couldn't continue to sit in this repetitive cycle of nothingness. You weren't receiving, you were only giving. There was, it was just a draining cycle. And although you had to recalibrate and rebalance your energies now potentially you're you're a lot more comfortable doing things in a different way than you were in the past nine of cups and reapers it's like 
you're no longer putting your happiness as the sacrifice. I think that's what changed. In the past, you were willing to keep giving and giving and giving and not receiving anything because you wanted this to work so badly. This version of you is changing. The, it's like a paradigm shift. This version of you is changing how you're living life, how you're doing things. You're putting your happiness first is what I'm seeing. You're no longer sacrificing your happiness with this Nine of Cups in reverse, Hierophant in reverse, and the Hermit in reverse. You're not sacrificing your own being just to make other people feel comfortable, just to make other people feel like they can sit at your table. No, Aries. <coughs> Excuse me. The way that you're moving now is like you're changing the, your whole... Something big is changing in regards to how you're thinking and seeing the world, how you're moving throughout the world, how you're showing up and how you're allowing people to see you. It's like I saw on the bottom of the deck here with this under the stars, we have the queen of wands and the devil. It's like and the king of wands. So maybe you were attached to um, potentially a fire sign that was not so good for you, whether it was a divine masculine or a divine feminine. But there could have been a fire sign, Aries. Um... That was not so good for you, but, or this is just you re putting how you, you, maybe you thought you were confident in the past, but it's like, maybe you're redefining what confidence means for you, how you're showing up in this reality, right? How putting your own happiness first is now empowering you to the point to where you feel like you are the magician again, right? You are the king of wands. You are the queen of wands instead of this magician in reverse, it's like maybe you're changing how you're allowing people to treat you. Maybe that's what you're doing with this hermit in reverse. You're it's just like you're no longer hiding from the world. You're just you're embracing it. You're embracing this new life, this new opportunity, this paradigm shift, really, of leaving the past in the past. And that that could just mean leaving this old version of you in the past. It doesn't have to be leaving anybody in the past. It could be leaving this old version of you that just didn't feel seen, that didn't feel worthy enough to be seen or something like that, didn't feel like anyone saw you for who you were or treated you as such, I don't know, but it's like now this new version of you is just, you're not even giving yourself the chance to doubt yourself in that regard, it's like you know who the fuck you are, you know what you're capable of, and you know that you're better off Without whatever was hold whatever was holding you back, you you you're seeing that you're a lot better off without it now, in this present or future or wherever you find yourself on this timeline. These are general readings, but I'd love to see that for you, Aries. Queen of Cups. Oh, some people could be viewing you as very kind of mysterious or like kind of like. A, People could be very curious about you. It's coins. There's a new beginning here. Justice on the bottom. Then we had the Ace of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Queen of Cups. So, yeah, put your happiness first. There is going to be a new opportunity for a new beginning here. It's going to be up to you whether or not you take it, you know. And this is going to be in regards to how you're showing up for yourself emotionally and with your confidence, like how you're allowing other people to treat you. Absolutely. Great clarification from spirit. I'm just seeing you on a much happier path, a much more fulfilling path, like emotionally. And I'm seeing you work through a lot of the internal battles of what it means to come to the acceptance that we were the ones that were placing ourselves in those environments for so long. We were the ones dealing with those people for so long in the past, right? I'm also seeing this Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. But this Nine of Pentacles speaks to just being in tune with yourself on another level, right? It's like you're attracting the abundance in your life now. You're not chasing it. You're not chasing this person. You're not chasing this, this lifestyle. It's like you're just embracing yourself and that and putting your happiness first. And that is what is now attracting all these beautiful new opportunities, happiness, and emotional fulfillment to you. It's like you were the key this whole time. King of Wands on the bottom of that. Damn. Justice. King of Wands. I feel like things are starting to go fall into place for you, Aries. And I love to see it. 
Thank you for watching this reading. Goodbye.